हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट वैलेंसी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट व्हाट इज वैलेंसी द कंबाइनिंग कैपेसिटी ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज नोन एज इट्स वैलेंसी आई एम गिविंग यू एग्जांपल दैट वी नो एच टू ओ वाटर हैविंग हाइड्रोजन एंड ऑक्सीजन सो हाइड्रोजन कंबाइंस विथ ऑक्सीजन टू फॉर्म वॉटर so hydrogen has some combining capacity and oxygen also has some combining capacity that that combining capacity is called valency now to study the combining capacity of element first we should know how many electrons are in the element if we know how many electrons are there we can easily find out the valency of that element and we should also know the bohr's model of at look here this is bohr's model of atom he said the nucleus is in the interior part or in the center of the atom and all the electrons are moving in different orbits this is the first orbit or you can cell call this as cell also this is the second one this is the third one and this is the fourth and according to their orbit number of electrons are moving in this orbit here he had given this that if number 1 means the first orbit then how many atoms are there then this is the formula for that you can say in first cell first cell number of electrons moving around will be 2 into 1 square that is 2 into 1 2 in second cell 2 into 2 square that is 2 into 4 8 in third cell there are also some confusions that i will tell you later after 8 18 is coming but when we are solving after 8 also again we are taking 8 so we will solve that also 2 into 3 square gives you 2 into 9 that is 18 and at last 2 into 4 square that is 2 into 16 32 now look here few elements are given to you and their electrons are given to you now we are going to find the combining capacity or the valency of this element one by one i had selected few of the elements that will help you now look here if hydrogen he is having only one electron so what will happen so nucleus in the center and in the first shell maximum two possible so it is one so one to make make it stable one more electron is needed or either he has to lose this electron so that it will become stable so what will be the valency automatically you know either he will gain one or he will lose one so valency of hydrogen will be one now look at helium two so two electrons are moving around so we know in first orbit maximum two is possible so two so helium will not combine with any so valency of helium is zero is not going to combine as we know that its first cell or the first orbit is completed so complete so he is not going to react with any of the element so valency of helium will be zero it is already stable so no need of going to becoming a stable element now three look here lithium 3 so two completed now one more is there so it will not go maximum two in the then again a next orbit will start and in that one more so to make it complete eight electrons are needed but one is there so either he has to gain seven electron or he has to lose this one electron so what will be easy for him to lose this one electron will be easy for him so the valency of lithium will be one similarly carbon six so two in the and four in the second orbit so what will be the condition four are there either he has to lose four or gain four to become stable so <laughs> you know valency will be four only what if 
what if seven are there and not taken any element so i have i'm giving you one example actually i should take that um, it's nitrogen seven now why i am taking that also i am going to tell you now look here nitrogen seven so in first would be two and then next would be five five are there so either he has to take three so it will become eight or either he has to give this five so what will be easy for him to take three or to give this five yes here change it will change that uh, from one to four we are giving or we are taking but when five will be there it will be easy for him to take three electrons of any other atom so valency will of nitrogen will be three reverse order now look here 10 so 2 in the center and 8 in the second orbit 3 6, 7 8 so already it is completed 2 and 8 so 10 so neon will be stable or so no he will not combine with any of the element now silicon 14 so 2 then 8 and then 4 now here comes the confusion 1 2 3 and 4 now 18 is there still we are taking 8 only in this orbit why it is so actually these cells are there but there are types first k cell first orbit is having only one means one orbit is there but for l cell there are two orbit of l cells two orbits are there then for m cells there are three orbit they are given names also and the names are s first here so s when two are there in k cell sorry in l cell two are there so first orbit will be s and second will be p here only then for m three are there first orbit name will be s second m will be p sec third m will be d this way three or two more orbits are there for l2 are there m3 are there so generally we are studying this like this so student get confused that after eight why 18 is not coming this is due to this understand there for l only k only one is there for l2 orbits are there s and p then for m there are three orbit s p and d understand now i'm going further now look here silicon 14 so first two and then eight remaining four so four are there so remaining we after l in l2 are there so we have to take one more eight that's why we are taking eight so again to combine either he has to lose four or gain four so valency will be four and then chlorine 17 2 and 10 8 10 7 so 4 five six seven either he has to rim give this seven or gain, take one so what will be easy for him he has to take one so the valency of chlorine will be one thank you friends for watching my video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel so i will bring more such type of videos for you thank you very much for watching thank you